Hi, this is Dr. Bird. Uh, this particular uh, MRI review uh, is for the patient that was a, a rear uh, seat passenger uh, that was hit by the uh, AC transit bus and actually on the site uh, uh, where she was sitting. So this patient was taken by an ambulance to the emergency room uh, due to the severity of the pain and she found me on uh, Google search and she wanted to get a chiropractic care because after uh, taken to hospital, to Kaiser Hospital, that's her insurance, uh, she was getting some physical therapy and pain management with drugs and uh, she didn't have any results whatsoever. So um, uh, when we treated her, this is about uh, uh, three and a half weeks uh, uh, due to uh, since we started the care and she has uh, shown some improvement but there is still some pain in the neck uh, in one particular area so I, I have offered her to get an MRI just to be on a safe side and so as you can see this is a ATP uh, front to back there is some uh, curvature here uh, in the upper cervical spine and uh, there is some disc protrusion I'm gonna go to the lateral view where there is going to be a better view of uh, of the disc protrusion, so we can see we can get better uh, view. You can see over here this is a uh, um, spinal cord, and this is C1, C2, and so we can see starting at C3, C4, C5, and C6. She has um, disc protrusion that uh, push on the spinal cord, and that's where the p consistent pain I mean she had about 10 or she when she came in originally she said I have like 15 on the scale 1 to 10 pain so now she's at about 6 7 which is a pretty significant decrease in amount of pain and, and uh, in enhancing her quality of life but we're still nowhere near also as we can see you can see here uh, she lost uh, uh, cervical uh, lordosis so she was uh, diagnosed, the impression on this uh, particular MRI was the reversal to normal cervical lordosis at the C3, C4 mild spinal canal stenosis and mild bilateral foraminal stenosis more on the right side due to a board based disc bulge associated with left paracentral disc fragment extrusion pointing uh, caudally with osteophytes, uncinate processes and facet joints hypertrophy. At C4, C5, mild spinal canal stenosis, moderate right and mild left foraminal stenosis due to broad-based disc bulge associated with local central disc fragment, extrusion pointing uh, caudally with osteophytes, unseen process, and facet joints hypertrophy. At C5, C6, which is around here, uh, mild spinal canal stenosis, moderate to severe bilateral foraminal stenosis due to disc osteophyte complex. So the next lateral, this is this one has a better view, uh, uh, a more clear shot. Over here you can see pretty much half of the thoracic spine, um, let's say one third of the thoracic spine, spinal cord, and then you can see here clearly that there are disc protrusions and loss of the cervical lordosis, which should be like this. And that, uh, if you rotate, you can see it. This is probably the best shot. And uh, the last one is the vertical. So you can see it uh, that the uh, patient has disc protrusions here. And uh, so basically we provide uh, uh, the usual care which she has responded to about 50% improvement. She's also going to see and like the pit is that uh, her personal injury attorney recommended and uh, we will kind of combine the care together and see what uh, the pit has to say okay thanks